Hi, I'm Lena, one of the librarians at the Wichita Public Library. We had children at the Alford Branch make us these teddy bears during the month of December, and I'm gonna tell a story time with them today. All right, our first book is The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear, written and illustrated by Don and Audrey Wood, published by HMH Books. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, ha haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away, especially one that has just been picked. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden, or who is guarding it, or how it is disguised. Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. All right. Oh, the bear. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do a game with these bears. These were decorated by kids here at Alfred. All right. I'm going to hide a strawberry under one of them and we'll try to guess which one it's under. All right. Where do you think the strawberry's hiding? Should we look under the dark brown one? Oh, nope. Should we look under the rainbow one? Nope. Should we look under the one with the red shirt? Nope. How about the one with the red and green striped tummy? Oh, what is that? Down the strawberry. Alright, hide it again. Okay. Should we look under the light brown one? Nope. What about the purple one? Nope. We try the one with the red shirt. Oh, there it is. What's on that strawberry? Does it have a disguise like in the book? That's so silly. Good job. All right, we have another book. This is Old Bear, written and illustrated by Kevin Henkes, published by Green Willow Books in association with HarperCollins. All right. With those brown leaves. Old Bear. There he goes. By the time Old Bear fell asleep for the winter, it was snowing hard. Soon he was dreaming. He dreamed that spring had come and he was a cub again. The flowers were as big as trees. He took a nap in a giant pink crocus. 
Nothing in there. Then he dreamed that it was summer. The sun was a daisy and the leaves were butterflies. Part of the sky clouded over and it rained blueberries. Next, he dreamed of autumn. Everything was yellow and orange and brown, even the birds and the fish and the water. After that, he dreamed that winter was back. The world was covered in ice. It was night and the sky was blazing with stars of all colors. The cold went on forever. Old Bear slept and dreamed, dreamed and slept. When he finally woke up, it seemed to him that no time had passed since he had fallen asleep. He yawned, he stretched, he poked his head out of his den to see if it was still snowing. He blinked and blinked again. And when Old Bear walked out into the beautiful spring day, it took him a minute to realize that he wasn't dreaming. So beautiful. The end. And now look colorful flowers instead of the brown leaves. Old bear. All right, we're gonna do another game with bears hibernating. We're gonna pretend that this bag is a cave. Where are bears? Where are bears? Here we are. Here we are. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Where are bears? Where are bears? Here we are. Here we are. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right, good job. I hope you had fun today. Before we go, let's see what these bears have been up to at the library. 